My name is Roland Buffene. I'm an assistant professor at the Singapore University of Technology and Design. And this is a swarm of robots. They are emulating a school of fish. Swarming in nature, um, you have this everywhere. Ant colonies, uh, flocking birds and schooling fish, they have embedded in them, in their genes, um, these set of rules. Avoidance, alignment, attraction. You take a simple ant, I mean, it doesn't have a big brain. It's not intelligent. But the entire colony, they share that information and by responding to it, they will solve that problem on a very large scale. The problem with traffic is that all the different cars and all the different drivers, they operate in a very selfish way. They are intelligent, but it's not because you have the sum of these intelligence that you have a very effective system. Swarming systems are more than the sum of their parts because they, are, they cooperate. So one way to get swarm intelligence will essentially be getting rid of the driver. So by using that technology, we're going to be able to have you know, all, everything being sensed by any car being shared between all the cars and they will react collectively, smoothly, providing you know, enhanced safety. We have two here that have been you know, partially developed in my group. One is a land robot, uh, which is used for collective surveillance. It's funded by the defense. This is a platform that goes in water. It's a buoy, and it's, it's afforded with several sensors in order to uh, look at water quality monitoring. With swarm intelligence, it would be as radical as getting rid of traffic lights. If we don't have traffic lights, people Drivers will never get along, will never be able to decide who goes first. If you have a swarm of cars, seamlessly they will decide who goes first. The challenges are more human challenges in terms of making this legal, getting insurance companies to, to, you know, to be okay with that, and mostly having drivers being okay not to drive the car. 